Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking and today I would like to show you a very simple Chrome plugin that I made just for you which will hopefully make writing Dynamic Serum plugins a little less sucky for you. So let me just show you what this is all about and then you're going to judge for yourself if that's useful or not. So when you're writing Dynamic Serum plugins, you are you must create this so fake context and all these all these entities within and as you've seen with with nicely populated everything there is but when you have when you have an entity that's um, maybe it has a lot of attributes or maybe you just don't want to create this this test data come on who wants to do that nobody um, so if you don't want to write this this entity initialization code you can use my plugin um, it's I'm gonna show you how to install that but it's it's as simple as it gets so just click on this little icon here when you install it and ta-da, you get your entity code. It's all nicely written here. All the all the attributes and everything, logical names, everything is taken care of for you. Um, as you can see, strings are formatted correctly, option sets, dates, everything is taken care of for you. And what you need to do is just click on copy and then go back to Visual Studio, um, add a little comma, and then you're just gonna need to um, fix the formatting. And obviously, instead of tab you must press Dilla and yeah so there it is you have you have the whole account um, just in your Visual Studio without needing to 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 worry about um, any any logical names or, or whatever it's just here this is the, the the entity as you would get if you created if, if, if the plugin was run on the server and it just works so now you can just use it remove the fields that you don't need so yeah remove everything that you don't need and here you go um that's it let me show you how to install it so to install it you will need to rename my smug name so type l suhadolnik github and type enter and i hope that's that's the right one yeah if you see my face that's the one and then search for dynamics entity code gen yeah couldn't have chosen a better name i know um but here it is so here is the plugin code you can check what's happening under the hood if you're worried that i'm gonna steal your data um but yeah so here is the installation you need to clone this repo locally and then do some stuff which i'm gonna show you so just go here to code click on download zip and then what it when it installs just open it just a second and then extract it i already did that and i'm not gonna show you how to do that but yeah so extract it somewhere not in the downloads please because you're gonna delete your downloads at some point um and but who does that really who deletes the downloads anyway so just just copy this somewhere where you won't delete it and uh, just open the folder and then basically copy the path from here so I'll just copy copy that from here and then go to go back to Chrome and then type in Chrome um, colon slash slash extensions and now that you're in the extensions as you can see I already have it installed but then first thing that you need to do is click here on developer mode you need to have this enabled so click here to, to enable it and now you can go to load unpacked and now you can just paste in the path and that should be then click select folder and your plugin should be installed I have two of these because I've just installed one so I'm just gonna remove one so it's not it's not it's not that annoying but now you have it now you have it's it's in here if it doesn't detect dynamics then it'll it'll pop up this little screen for you but uh, when it is on dynamics maybe it won't work the first time if it doesn't just refresh the page and it should work like that so apart from c sharp code you already you also get json code if you're working with with um all data api and uh, and as you can see look at that so primary contact id it or it also generates you these all data bind attributes and all this stuff that you always forget how to do um and here it is so this is basically a very similar code as if you would go and copy and paste the the, the request so it's it's everything you ever wanted at least i did so i hope this this will save you some time um yeah my name is loro thank you so much for watching see you in the next one cheers bye